So you can see behind me here, the bulldozer is using the crane to sort of align the cars that are undamaged back on the tracks. Now, if you keep looking over this trellis behind me here, these houses, that's where several cars ended up in neighbors' backyards over here in the 300 block of South Elizabeth. Now, the fire chief tells us that nothing was inside at the time that these train cars came off the tracks, but you can see just heaps of metal. The train cars had been ripped open. They were laying on its side when we first came over here, but they've since erected a couple of the train cars. They are still working. There's very extensive damage, but luckily, in all this situation, it's a miracle that no one was hurt, but it did frighten neighbors. We had one neighbor come over this morning and she said she's lived here for 40 years, never known there to be an issue, and then surprised to hear this happen late last night. It's scary, you know, and then especially when you, you, you're not really expecting it, but then you are hoping that something could be done because I, I trip off of the train flying through it when it's raining. Mm -hmm. And you hear the noise, the house shakes. So I'm accustomed to the movement and the sounds. Right. So when I heard the badness of it and like it was jumping off, like something jumping off a track, I heard that first and then we saw, I saw the sparks. When I saw the sparks, I put my fan so I said, it's time to get out. Now, when that train derailed, it did hit a large tree. Otherwise, it probably would have traveled even further than it did. Now, at this point, investigators are still trying to determine what exactly caused the train to derail from the tracks. Live this morning in Ferguson, Michelle Madaris, Fox 2 News.